Christmas Day happy to YouTube. So I sold the 97 or SKS 700. Sorry, sometimes I'm getting confused because I got so many. But uh, sold the low mile SKS 700 and uh, headed to pick up another sled. Now here's the cool thing. This is one of my old sleds. It's not something new and uh, I'm actually really pumped about this. So hopefully you guys get excited because it means it's going to be like a whole bunch of different content, sort of. But, yeah. Anyway, so I'm headed to Anchorage right now. It's a beautiful day. A little bit warm out, but yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to stop somewhere and buy a cover or else this sled is just going to get coated in nasty road shit, even though I have a salt shield. But, oh, look at this car in the dead. Learn how to drive, you fucking loser. Well, we just got home. Here it is. Boom. Return of the snail trail. This is the ice racer I built a couple years ago. I raced it twice. Uh, won the second race and uh, sold it. So I was going to build a bigger, faster sled. And I never really finished a bigger, faster sled. So I had the opportunity to buy this one back. If you guys... Are unfamiliar with the sled uh, when I built it I put Walker Evans shocks on the front those are actually center shocks from pro arm case they're right length set these things up perfect for ovals um, the rear is lowered so much that there's no center shock and the front of the rails are cut off keep them from hitting shit a couple things the guy I sold it to improved on is he put a tunnel enclosure on it uh, this cool little tail light thing it needs batteries so that just flashes because there's no actual tail light on this it has a oh i can't remember like 240 or so ice picks in it so this thing is like on freaking rails to put a new tether on it because apparently when i put on the shit in the bed and of course, you gotta have your steering post mount. Keep it nice and tight. You put a, a built throttle block on it. What else? Put some bar risers on it. Pivot one so you can kind of adjust whether you want them further forward or back. Uh, I don't know, I didn't have none of that stuff on when I owned it. He also replaced the drive shaft because apparently the drive shaft was bent just a little bit and he rebearinged it so he did quite a bit of work to this thing and I'm pumped to have the snail trail back super super excited we are going racing boys I need a seat this seat is absolutely hideous and I've complained about that ever since I put that seat on but I was working with what I had when I put this sled together originally Super, super pumped. Hell yeah. 